Hall of Fame announcement day is January 21st. You can see it right here on MLB Network. And it's the last roundup for one player who's been on the rise, going from 34 to 55 percent last year. Early polling right now is positive. This could be the year. So let's give Larry Walker the last chance at some Cooperstown justice. Larry Walker's case is complicated. He played 17 years with a 400 on base, slugging a monstrous 565. That's easy Hall of Fame level hitting. Except he played in the best hitting environment in the history of baseball in just about the highest run scoring era as well. The writers properly took that into account. But you have to ask, did they go too far? Walker played five full years in Montreal and a year and a half in St. Louis. So he has more than double the plate appearances in his career outside of Coors Field. There is a dramatic split. You can see the numbers. The Denver numbers are absurd. But if we're ever to consider a player from the Rockies, they're going to have great home stats. It happens. So concentrate on the right side there, the road numbers. 375, 372 rather on base, slugging 501. Considering that all players hit worse on the road, those numbers are quite good on their own. For example, yes, there were years where he had drastic home road splits, but in his MVP season of 1997, the numbers were about even. Walker on the road had a 443 on base, slugging 733 on the road. So to say he was merely a creation of Coors Field, that's unfair. Now, Walker was also an outstanding all-around player, a plus fielder with a very good arm and also very efficient running the bases. He stole 230 bags at a success rate of 75%, and his career extra bases taken percentage was an admirable 52%. That's quite good. Now, that's the good news. Here's the bad news. Volume does matter, and Walker was not durable. This could be blamed partially on playing at high altitude, but it happened in Montreal as well. He topped 150 games just once in his career. Over 140 games, only four times, well, excuse me, yeah, four times all told. In his 14 main years, he averaged 128 games a season. That's a lot of time not being on the field. So it's not an open and shut case. But wins above replacement is a volume stat, so missed time is a missed chance to accumulate more war. And yet Walker, it should be noted, does have more than enough. Basic rule of thumb is that your career war of 60 means you're a Hall of Famer, at least in that neighborhood. Walker is at 72, well above that. Here's where he ranks among right fielders all time. Eighth all time, right between Paul Wehner, big poison, Harry Hyman, and Tony Gwynn, all Hall of Famers, and ahead of Dave Winfield and Vladimir Guerrero. Eighth in war at right field, seventh in OPS plus, and that's among right fielders. That's a strong field. Walker wasn't durable, but when he played, he was great. If he does get to 75% this year, he will fit right in among the existing Hall of Famers.